this ridiculous effort by the uh, multinational so-called energy companies, the fossil fuel energy giants, with, gov with billions of dollars of government subsidies, are sending themselves to far-flung areas in the Arctic Ocean and such to, to find reserves of oil. And Shell, they just said, well, it's too stormy up there. We're abandoning it. But of course, you, the sons of guns, you can't believe in anything they say, but the objective of it is state-sponsored economic terrorism against any and all the people left in the world that are the, are the other 99% who are now, who are now being, becoming subject to uh, the, um, disarray and disagreement and alienation and separation and destitution and homelessness and cluelessness by, uh, you could call it a, you could call it a two-party system or you could uh, call it by anything else, but um, I think, I think as I may, I may have said before, if you if you look at if you examine the long and torturous historic path of America's longest, costly, most costly, and most idiotic and ill-advised war of all times, the drug war, and and most especially the war against a, a harmless herb, cannabis. And I think you'll find of those centuries of a drug war that it tells you more about the people involved than, uh, than the uh, substance itself, the, the, uh, the, the natural God-given seed-bearing herb. And when, I, when I, and when I say substance, I mean that that's our word. Because, uh, see, I, I take, uh, I don't really feel I am a, a va in the state of Maine a validated uh, medical marijuana uh, patient, but that, that shouldn't, uh, there shouldn't be any reason why uh, on my, I'm a card carrying member and my, and my wife uh, even laminated the card. There shouldn't be any reason on there that it, it expires in a year. You know, I would, I would think that's bad luck because maybe that means they're, maybe that means they're talking about me, you know, expiring. And uh, but getting back, it's, it's our, uh, it's our dread, dreadful fate these days to be, to be stuck in a faith-based economy. Ours is a global faith-based economy, and that, that is to say that all the, of all the known oil reserves. They're called, uh, by the oil companies, they have a cute little $5 name for it. They call it stranded assets. This is what they call fossil stuff that's miles below the frozen ice sheets of the remote Arctic Ocean. They call that stranded assets. And what that tells you, what that tells you is that that's, that's pure evil. That, that is, uh, that is like phantom fictional money being borrowed by uh, by other people and uh, traded for, uh, uh, for on the futures market of the Wall Street Stock Exchange. And now we're back to it. And, you know, the, the Wall Street crooks and munitions manufacturers and and you got to have faith and, and faith will keep you going. But what I'm getting what I'm getting to is uh, close to the ground and reality, and, 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 and that is simply that the reason that this country is constantly in a, in a state of war is right before you. And, and that's where it uh, comes to, uh, to religious practice and religious enlightenment and to uh, be thankful and to be humble and to experience things around you and life around you and the life that you see and you meet and how the environment and the situation that life is in makes it one way or then it makes another. Like, I, I, part of why I feel, uh, why I find gardening fascinating is that, uh, say, well, a weed well known to all of us, and I'm not thinking of cannabis, but it could be that, but say like a kind of a, a kind of a crap grass that you find as a weed in your corn patch, and, and Son of Gun, it looks a little bit like corn, but 
then you find the same weed over in the tomato patch, and it looks like a tomato. And uh, maybe maybe that's maybe that that could be the uh, uh, the effect of uh, divine providence in the times where uh, he, she, it, or them are are bored. And there's there's no uh, there can be den no den denying of, of our own mortality and our belief or in our our thirsting for a belief in, in something that is greater than us. And in the, the Eastern religions, that's a whole nother page of, of another book, the, the uh, Eastern religions. But in the, well, in, in, in the Eastern religions, especially, I think, they value first and foremost the, uh, the inner peace that is gained into uh, to one's consciousness when the uh, when the disciplines and the practices are, are practiced and lived by every day and observed and, and performed and, and practiced with in the in the company of like minded people. And you know, it's it's the same as uh, it's just simple as that. If you were all like swinging a grub hoe or uh, doing a square dance or um, all having like a picnic sandwich, it would be, uh, those kind of things are done more comfortably and more better in the, in, the, uh, in the presence of people. And this suggests that there is between people, or say between songbirds of a like kind and a like mind, there is experience that is more sublime and it transcends what you might be conscious of. And this is only to suggest that the uh, moment of creation is like no other moment of creation. And uh, and that in the dime will, uh, what do you say, Ali, huh? In, in, in the, you know, So, so who is the uh, like in the, the old uh, truth? And what's my line? You know, will the, will the real uh, truth teller please stand up? And why, why is all our life really about the uh, all-knowing, omnipresent, uh, d you know, divine providence? And why, why is and tell me why is so much uh, disillusionment and alienation and strife and and, and bloodletting uh, uh, the the result of religion and people having religion and people being without religion and and the all the fears that go with it. But the uh, but the agencies of any government should. I, 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 I would suggest that this country should have a peace department where people are trained by uh, ad advanced practitioners of the uh, Eastern religions to uh, have a reason for their loving kindness towards other people and, and not trying to act that way uh, just, just out of acting. And, and I got here, right here, a... Uh, a, a note that might be to uh, President Obama. I'm, I'm tempted to get it off to him right now, especially after I was there when he was saying, "Yes, we can," and then he, and then he, uh, he reneged and he refused to uh, free the pot POWs. He reneged and, and refused to uh, call the feds off of medical marijuana patients and pot. Okay, the, the National a a Activist, non Nonviolent Direct Activist Group, POT, uh, petitioned the government and sued the government for the, the unbelievable unconsciousness of, 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 all, of offenses against people that were running out of time, and that's what and that's what their acronym, their activist acronym, POT was all about. And that's that's what it that's what pot stands for in the medical sense is people running out of time, people out of time. And the and the judge says, well under the under the constitution or the way the laws stand, 
I can't grant you the permission to uh, to get the uh, care from your practicing physician. You're going to have to wait for an act of Congress to change the law. And and this is and this they're saying to somebody whose body is wasting away from terminal cancer. I say they got a hell of a nerve. Did was there ever a kid that? wanted to grow up to be, you know, not a silver star desperado or a cowboy, but was there ever, was there ever a kid that grew up wanting to be a sleazy, slimy corporate lawyer? And so that's why we, uh, that, you know, that's it, folks. We, we got, we got, we got the religion in us, and and it's there, and it's the same like you look at a drop of dew, and there's the, the deepest, Crimson red, or cerulean blue, or chartreuse green, or earth tone yellow, it's all there in that, that little sparkling drop of dew, or the snowflake, and the, the paths are many, but the truth is one, little grasshopper. And, and for you who are ready, the, the, uh, the knowledge will be there for you. And, and right now we got uh, we got some live music coming up, so we're living out there, living up out there. And you give a cheer for Akbari is uh, warming up here to give you some live action here. Thank you. Everybody, Mr. Harry Brown. Also, I just want to remind people that Strangers Hopping Strangers is right here in the Big Ten. If you are leaving and you have leftover non-perishables, please drop them off to help families in need. Thank you. All right, folks. Hey, it's our last festival of our 25 years. Let's give Harry a great big thanks for being, being here and keeping us all going, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Harry. We love you. Let's give up Barry a couple of minutes to get set up, and we have... The Barefoot Truth Dancers who are going to entertain you while Akbari plays. Woo!